My Lords, the Government is deeply concerned about the rise in anti-Semitism across Europe. We work closely with the Community Security Trust, the police and the Home Office to tackle anti-Semitic incidents which have no place, absolutely no place in our communities. My Department hosts the Anti-Semitism Working Group which brings together community representatives and officials from across Government to ensure a coordinated response to anti-Semitism, whether at home, abroad or indeed online. Uh, can I thank my noble friend, the Minister, for his answer. Like all members of the House, uh, we will be aware of the ongoing conflict in Gaza and the terrible loss of life as a result. Uh, but does my noble friend, the Minister, agree with me that it's unacceptable that many opt to use this conflict, instigated by Israel, need to protect its citizens from lethal rockets, to use this as a pretext for anti-Semitic prejudice, sometimes through the veneer of anti-Zionism, by placards and rants on our own high streets, including the recent Mirror article, which compares Gaza to a concentration camp. Many Jews in this country feel their security threatened and their safety <coughs> prejudiced. And would he join me in supporting Muslims in the UK who condemn anti-Semitism wherever it may be found? Well, on that final point, as a Muslim in this country and a proud Muslim and proud of his country, I totally condemn anti-Semitism wherever it's found in its ugly guises, and I'm sure I speak for all members, irrespective of faith or belief uh, in this House. Uh, my Lords, we are deeply concerned, of course, as a government, about the continuing violence in Gaza and Israel, and we have called upon repeatedly on all sides to de-escalate and work towards a lasting peace. The Israeli people do have a right to live without constant fear for their security, but equally Gazans also have a right to live with dignity and peace, and we are deeply concerned by the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Gaza. It is for all communities, certainly in the UK though, to work together, and we are, in encountering extremism in all its ugly guises, and to send a clear message that such bigotry has no place in our country. Would the minister, would the, could the minister, my lords, given that vile anti-Semitic views have now appeared on placards and chants on British streets, not least in London, could he assure us that the government is taking steps to protect the intercommunal relations in our country, and is he? assured that the government is in touch with the leadership of both the Muslim and the Jewish communities. And would he join with me in welcoming in a very helpful statement from the Muslim Council of Britain two weeks ago, the concluding words which were, we must not let conflicts abroad cause re relations to break here in the United Kingdom. Jewish and Muslim communities have enjoyed good relations in the UK, and it is vital that that is maintained. Again, I share the noble lady's sentiments, and I think it is important to look at our great country and see that over time, people of different faiths have come to this country, have settled in this country, different migrant communities have made this country their own, and generation upon generation continue to respect each other, live with each other, and build a prosperous nation together. The sentiment she's expressed I totally share, and the government is totally working together on the ground with people of all faiths and communities. If I could just give a couple of examples. We've invested £8.2 million in the Church Urban Near Neighbours uh, scheme. In terms of uh, Holocaust, we've invested £1.8 million on the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust, and also, m m more recently, Recently, uh, noble lords will know we've also launched the Rebre uh, Remembering Srebrenica campaign, which remembers the Srebrenica genocide, which took place on European soil not so long ago. My lords, while fully associating myself with the minister's condemnation of anti-Semitism in all its forms, does he nevertheless accept? that much anti-Semitism is a reaction to the appalling Israeli treatment of its Arab neighbours, both in Gaza, in Jerusalem and on the West Bank. No. Is, not the, 
Is not the best action that the government can take to avert such activity is to show that it not only deplores such action as the constant growth of Israeli settlements and the disproportionate reaction of the Israeli Defence Forces in Gaza, but is prepared with our European allies to take effective steps to stop it. My Lords, when it comes to the conflict in the Middle East, the UK has three clear objectives. One is to secure a ceasefire, secondly, to alleviate human, humanitarian suffering, and thirdly, and most importantly, and I'm sure all noble lords adhere to this, is to keep alive the prospects for peace negotiations, which are the only hope the only hope of breaking the cycle of violence and devastation once and for all. The UK is working, let me assure the noble lord, closely with the US and European allies in encouraging both sides back to dialogue, supporting the Palestinian Authority and keeping pressure on Hamas and other extremists, and most importantly also alleviating the human humanitarian consequences of this tragic conflict. My lords, I would like to bring us back to the original question, if I may. Um, at demonstrations in London, anti-Semitic and pro hasbara banners and placards have been freely displayed with slogans such as, Hitler was right. Can my noble friend the Minister please tell the House what Her Majesty's Government is taking to ban the use of pro-terror and racist placards at such demonstrations? Well, the Government of totally condemns the use of such placards and of course comparing um, uh, the conflict which is taking place and re reviving memories of the tragedy and the uh, disgust we all had for the terrible events of the Holocaust has no place in, in the protests and I'm sure I speak for all Muslims, indeed all Palestinians, all people with sensible thoughts about resolving this conflict. No religion, no faith, no community sanctions such disgusting behaviour, and that's what it is. Yeah. Placards which invoke any kind of terror against any community have no place in our country. Yeah. 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 Grandfather, with parents at a Jewish school in London, which has to be pleased, can we hear the Minister's reaction to the idea that anti-Semitism in Europe is a reaction to what is happening in Israel and Palestine, much as we regret that. And can he not agree with me that actually this would be rather like saying that the affairs in Syria would cause anti-Islamic feeling in this country? As I've already said, and I say again to the noble lord, anti-Semitic behaviour, irrespective of what's happening in the Middle East, has no place in translating against action of a despicable kind against any community, and that includes the Jewish community specifically on this issue. We have to be absolutely clear. There are things which happen around the world. What's happening in Gaza and Israel at the moment, we all deplore the loss of life, the tragedy and the loss of civilian life, the humanitarian crisis which has taken place on the ground. But let me be absolutely clear, and perhaps I should put it into context as a Muslim as well. The Islamic faith is very clear. In such situations, you should protect churches, you should protect cloisters, you should protect synagogues, you protect all innocent life. And that is the kind of message we need resonating, not just in this house, but throughout the country. I recall that a year ago, after the beheading of Lee Rigby, the Prime Minister rushed forward to say that Islam was a religion of peace that Islamophobia must be prevented, and the police made arrests in relation to tweets and demonstrations. Can he remind the House, because politicians, unfortunately, have been in the forefront of making this link between Gaza, anti-Semitism, Hitler, and all the rest of it. Can he remind the House that the politicians should be leading in calming down feelings and that the police should be encouraged to prosecute where appropriate? I totally agree with the sentiments expressed by the noble lady and in the interests, and I'm sure we all recognise that, that we live in a multi-religious society and it's entirely appropriate that the House takes this opportunity to wish the Muslim community a very happy Eid Mubarak. Yeah.